This video is going to show you how to do a color pop project using a few simple tools in Photoshop. Color pop is when your whole picture is black and white and you have one area of your picture popping out in color, kind of like what you see here. So the first thing you're going to do is find a picture that you want to work with and we're going to open it up. So we're going to go file, open, find the picture that you want to transform and we're ready to start. What you're going to need to do is right click on your background layer and duplicate the layer. Now we have two pictures that are the exact same in the exact same spot. If I were to move this picture, you can see that underneath is the same picture in the exact same spot. With the top layer, we want to go up to image, adjustments, black and white. We're going to change this picture into black and white and then we're going to erase through to pop out the area of color that we want to expose. We're going to add a layer mask which is this button right here and what this allows us to do is erase part of our picture except the eraser marks will not be permanent. So if we were to make a mistake we would be able to undo our eraser marks and make it look as perfect as possible. So add your layer mask, and the way a layer mask works is if you select your paintbrush and have black and white selected as your colors, black will erase some of your picture. And if you were to make a mistake, just press this little arrow button to flip it so that white is in the foreground, and white will remove your eraser marks. Sometimes you're going to want to zoom in and zoom out of your picture depending on how small of detail you're working with. So for my son's hand here, I'm going to want to hold control and press plus to zoom in. And I can hold control and press minus to zoom out. Another thing that you're going to want to do all the time is constantly change the size of your brush. Now if I'm working in his hand, I'm going to want to choose a small enough brush so that it's going to work with that small hand. I wouldn't use a very large brush for that area. So I'd use a small brush and I would zoom in a lot and then start erasing away to pop his hand in color. Okay, so I'm going to work on this and make it all pop in color. Okay, so that would be my final copy of my picture. And now to save your picture, remember to always go File, Save As, and save it to your Creative Cloud.